Canon R7 camera became very popular in uh, recent time and still it is the highest quality APS-C crop sensor camera professionals can use and the lenses you can use with this camera can be cheaper than the full frame cameras because it has the ability to use the EF and EFS lenses uh, overall with the adapter called RF to EF mount. I have recently acquired this camera and I was a bit surprised with the camera quality and the settings you can use in this camera. I have used all of my you know existing EF and EFS lenses just with, with the help of the adapter. I believe I'm happy with that in terms of the quality but again if you go with the dedicated RF mount lenses then definitely the result would be a little bit different than the result you get uh, from the EF and EFS lens. Why to waste that much money if you have good quality lens? Right now I'm recording with the Sigma 17-50mm 2.8F EFS lens which I initially bought for my Canon 70D camera and I was very happy with that because I use this lens with a lot of different kind of short films, photography, events, videos and all. I also have another lens called 50mm 1.4f. Let me show you that. And uh, this is the Nifty 50 and 1.4f is pretty fast in comparison to other lenses because let me show you the result of this one compared to the one I'm recording with. Right now it is on the 17 to 50 mm 2.8 f as I said before. The background is blurry but not as good as this lens. So let's put it on. So now I am on the Canon 50 mm 1.4 f lens and you can see the background now it's much better compared to the Sigma 17 to 50 mm 2.8 f lens. But it depends on the choice so this lens is very good for the portrait photography the amount of quality it gives with this camera canon eos r7 it's amazing so that's it for now in the next video i'm going to show you the perfect settings you can set in canon eos r7 to achieve the best film look with this camera thanks for watching guys see you next time myself hardy take care bye bye